In our family, it was a rite of passage that you could go outside the gate to get the newspaper from the box and bring it back to your parents and your grandparents. And I just have a deep-seated love for this newspaper and how the community and the newspaper interact with each other. <laughs> it can make our whole day. We'll, we'll be sitting here quietly working and we can hear Phil come up the street singing. Automatically we smile. You might as well, it's just as easy to sing as it is to cry. Amen. You spread that joy to all of us. My heart God yeah. can do anything. Our previous owner, he would come down once or twice a year and check things out. And he called me and told me that I'm gonna just close the door and walk away. He would let everyone else go and he would keep me long enough to start selling off piece by piece anything here. And I couldn't allow it to close, so I bought it. Today is our anniversary of three years in business. Three years ago, we bought the Welch News. And we like to do something to commemorate. This is the year we said we're not going under and bought it ourselves. And we like to celebrate that with our community. To me, that's one of the biggest, most important things is that we do have our own voice down here because over the years, anytime you've heard McDowell mentioned, it's usually in a negative light. But what that misses is that there are people still here trying to turn that narrative around. That's always been my thing with photography. The photographer has a sense of duty there to really capture the story with the photo. And I feel like I haven't seen that done in my home. It's very significant to us that we made it this far. The community backed us 100%. I love McDowell County because of the people. I raised three children here as a single parent. I don't know how many times one of my kids were broke down on the side of the road somewhere or ran out of gas or got in trouble or anything. Someone's gonna take care of that kid. It is like the village. All right, this is where we start at and we're keeping track of everything on this yellow sheet first that goes on the next day our legals our paid advertising our house advertising our inserts uh so that this is kind of our guide to what's going to run in monday's edition tommy is our classified ad person he is our circulation manager he's our legal editor he schedules all of the legals he does our layout he figures our percentages every day he keeps up with all the drivers. He distributes their mileage checks. He takes payments from the drivers. He does deposits. He rolls the papers and sends them out. He counts them out. Tommy's a force that people do not realize he is. <laughs> uh, and it hooks up in that right there and we'll line it up and then roll it around. And then flip the top in and there's a little nut here we engage, which I'll show you that in a little while when we get something ready, but. The thing I love Larry most for it is his ability to conquer that press. He is very much a hustler. And also on top of that, he runs two routes. Jamie, she's only been here a short time, a few months. I'm starting to see her come up with ideas, which is so cool when, you know, the newest team member starts going, well, why don't we do this? Yes, why don't we? 
kind of figured out what our strengths are and what our weaknesses are. And we try to just rely on each other in that way. Tyler is very creative. He can put together a page faster than anyone else. Derek always, he's the best with words. And he always puts the actual article together once it's been transcribed and he usually transcribes it. So Derek and Tyler are the main two on the eight pages we try to put out three times a week. One lady, when we thought we were closing, she called and said, I have a landline phone and I have the Welch news. And that's, that's it. She broke our hearts, honestly, with that. Just, you couldn't walk away. So how are you guys doing here, Piper? Well, you know. <laughs> Hanging in there. Right, it, it, exactly. We did not plan on COVID coming. That really hurt us, but what do you do? Just keep on going? Exactly, exactly. We need that here. Yeah, and thank you. Thank you. And you're so welcome. <laughs> Some people like to pull out the negativity. And the Welch News likes to pull out the positive. So our hope is definitely to continue on, to help in any way we can build McDowell County up in their eyes, in the eyes of the world. We want to support the many, many, many great people here and tell their stories. Really, I don't think any of us would be here if it weren't for each other and the team we've created. I draw strength from it, and in my times of weakness, I have plenty of shoulders to lean on. Because these people are going to be here for me when the world isn't. <laughs>